My particular areas of expertise are around missing persons investigations, but particularly mass violence in the 20th century. So my research for um, over a decade has been about the investigation, particularly of the Holocaust um, and Nazi crimes perpetrated in Europe. And I developed a unique non-invasive methodology, which enabled me to account for the ethical and religious sensitivities involved in searches for missing persons and the investigation um, of killing sites from this period in a way that meant that we could use novel scientific techniques quite often without needing to disturb the ground but that we could still create a very detailed novel and accurate picture of the crimes that were perpetrated. We've now worked at more than 50 Holocaust sites around the world. We've worked on a number of Holocaust education initiatives and I'm very keen um, personally on ensuring that the work that we do has an impact on families around the world who want to know the fate of missing persons, but that it also has an impact on communities and on education. I'm very honoured and very humbled to have worked with a number of Holocaust survivors, to have worked with families, to have been given in fact the responsibility for carrying out those searches um, on their behalf um, you know, is, is, is a real honour for me um, and a real motivator behind continuing to do this work. And obviously as well, I also work with a lot of young people and I see the impact that this new technology has on them. Um, you know, they perhaps see the Holocaust in particular or, or other events of the 20th century as something that happened in the past. Um, but I'm very committed to ensuring that we find new ways to engage with young people, to excite them about history, but also to help them learn the very vital lessons that they need to learn and also why that's relevant today because a lot of these crimes, of course, are being repeated as well in the present.